Day 113 of 365 promises to be one of the most boring videos I've ever uploaded. I'm tired, I've got an essay to do, it's got to be in in 35 hours or so. I'm a third for it, I only started it a few hours ago. And well, I'm going to bed now so I can be up nice and early and show you my word count. Oh, I don't want to get up. No, that's not a swimming pool. That's my shower in Opal One. It floods every time. Ugh. I feel wrecked. I've done 700 words of my essay. I've got 24 hours to get it in tomorrow morning at Wednesday, 11 a.m. I don't know if I'm going to get it done. I'm going to the shop. I already feel like I should apologise for how rubbish today's video is going to be. Although I shouldn't really apologise, there's 112 other days you can go back through my channel and watch that are pretty good. What have we got here? Pino stepdad raped his bridesmaid. Seriously, why are there stories like this? Why do people want to read this stuff? Ah! Sandbug dined out on. My eye. <laughs> Nutrition, donuts, Red Bull, peanut butter and bread. These chocolate donuts don't seem to have helped at all. I've done about 100 words since I've bought them. How many words have you done, Chris? Is that 500, is it? Yeah, that's a 500. Oh, what, what, the, the, look at this. I look good now. Look at my medal. <laughs> nice. The fact that Chris has only done half of what I've done makes me feel slightly better about myself. Well, to combat this uh, desperate feeling of guilt that I've got from not finishing this essay yet, I've decided to buy some word-heavy books. The first one being a book by a guy called Malcolm Gladwell called The Tipping Point. If you know what this book is about, feel free to say something in the comments below. But otherwise, I'm looking forward to a, a good read. It was published in 2000, so it's a, a relatively new thing. And it involves theories about society and change that's going to happen soon or that's, that, that we're at. And the reason I bought it is because I'm going to focus my, my family project on this. This and the next book that I've bought as well. The Wisdom of Crowds by James Surarecki. I can't say his word properly. Uh, the opening line of this uh, book talks about a county fair that had a competition to weigh an ox. So uh, the person who guessed the exact weight of the ox would uh, win something in particular. But when uh, a certain person looked at all the different guesses, averaged them out and took the, the mean of the weight of the ox, that was actually the correct... Uh, weight which was uh, guessed which was a better guess than uh, experts in the cattle industry that tried it out which I find really interesting so it talks about crowds and wisdoms of crowds and how a collective consciousness uh, god I, I am driveling on here sorry so yeah I've bought these two books and as you can see I'm really not doing my essay whoops but they're probably going to help focus my mind for my next photographic project, which I'm working on, about the family, or something about the family. It's not going to be about the family at all. Please feel free to give this video one star or a thumbs down. Desperately bad. Have you finished yet? Yeah. You have? No. How many words you've got to go? A hundred or so. A hundred left? I hate you. 1,027 words so far. Here's a random fact. Did you know Queen Elizabeth II is Barack Obama's 16th cousin once removed? True story. The thing about this essay is, you know, I know I'm going to get it finished. I know I'm going to hand it in on time and I know it's going to be half decent when it's done. Well, I do hope anyway. But the thing is that it's like a... If I can use a metaphor, it's like running a marathon. I'm halfway through this marathon and I know I'm going to finish the marathon. But I've still got 13 miles to go and I'm exhausted and it's going to hurt.
to get to that finish line. And that's how I feel with this essay. It's just going to be a boring few hours from here on. Hello, Mr. Skeleton Man. What do you think I should do? Have a cup of tea. Now. This is the 12th cup of tea I've had today. Why does Chris want me to record the door? <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter Lick. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Peter Lick. Chris is such a retard. I'm trying to do my essay here, and he's not helping by coming in and pretending to be other photographers. I'm halfway through my essay, so I'm going to go to the shop and have a little break. That incredible sunshine makes me feel somewhat depressed that I'm indoors writing. I suppose I could have got it done six, seven weeks ago. But I wouldn't be much of a student if I did that, would I? Got to live the life properly. I don't want to buy anything. I just want to go to sleep. That'll do. Something convinced me that chewing gum would help me finish this essay. There goes another fatty. Just so happens that some days are boring. So I'm sorry if you're still watching. However, tomorrow should be quite a more exciting day because uh, after handing in the essay, we're going round Cardiff with our class, looking at museums and stuff. So I'm sure we'll have some fun. But Soz Law says that it's going to rain tomorrow. I'm sure of it. Oh look, I think that's Chris Watkins' car, a scummy Vitara. Let's leave him present. There you go Chris, think of me. It's, uh, 1500 words now, I'm getting there, I've only got another thousand to go and it's seven o'clock. Hi Jeb. Are you cleaning away all the empty drinks we've been drinking? Uh, yeah. yeah. That's a lot of taurine and caffeine there. Disgusting. No, Gemma. I don't want to give you hand taking all these down. I've got an essay to do. The sun's just starting to set now, it's coming up to 8 o'clock. I've done 1600 words and well, I'm obviously getting closer to being finished and uh, I'm going to have to stop doing my video now so uh, I'm getting close to 10 minutes anyway surprisingly enough. Uh, tomorrow, don't forget, it will be a better day, we'll be going to uh, museums around Cardiff, we're in Newport at the moment. and. Uh, We'll be free from essay and stuff and I can start living my life again. So, for the people who are still stuck around watching, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I owe you a present. Uh, tell me what you want. I'll send you a t-shirt or something. Uh, cool. It's day 113 of 365. Thanks for hanging around. Speak to you later. Bye.